A judge declared that a Russian oil tycoon is guilty. Now, the verdict will likely keep Russia's once richest man behind bars for several more years on charges of theft and money laundering. Bloomberg's Elliot Gotkin has been following the story, and he joins us now to get us up to speed on a little bit more of what happened. Elliot. Deirdre, this is according to the defense team of Mikhail Khodorkovsky, once, of course, one of Russia's richest men, the owner of the Yukos oil giant. He's already serving out, was due to finish serving an eight-year sentence for tax evasion this coming October. But it looks like he's going to be spending a few more years in prison. According to his defense team, he has been found guilty, together with his former business partner, uh, partner Platon Lebedev, of uh, oil theft. These are some of the scenes outside the courthouse uh, today where uh, the uh, supporters of Khodorkovsky were uh, heard to be uh, shouting uh, freedom for, uh, the, for the man himself. He himself uh, said that this was a pretty predictable outcome, said that he was a symbol of the fight against tyranny. And indeed, his own lawyers, the lead defense lawyer today, has come out and uh, described this verdict in this case as a charade of justice. So, so this guilty verdict then was a surprise, Elliot? Well, Mikhail Khodorkovsky himself said just in his closing statements that a guilty verdict would be uh, predictable, uh, certainly according to a human rights group as well, human rights groups as well. There was really no surprise about this. Vladimir Putin, the former president, now the prime minister as well, he said uh, recently, just a couple of weeks ago, that a thief, referring to Mikhail Khodorkovsky, uh, deserves to sit in prison. So I don't think anyone's really surprised by this. He hasn't been found guilty on all the charges that were levelled against him. So he does look, according to his defence team, set for a further six years in prison. Uh, but of course, uh, critics, cynics, if you like, would say that this case alone was effectively tied in with the original case, which uh, certainly uh, uh, wasn't necessarily built on uh, firm foundations, and that it was just simply designed to keep Khodorkovsky in prison. And who knows that a further six years down the line, perhaps another case might come, come along to keep him in prison for a little, little bit longer. But certainly, it doesn't look like like gaining his freedom anytime soon.